Okay, welcome to the iPhone camera because my uh, camera has decided to run out of battery. Also, excuse this cable. Today, I am off to get a laser hair removal. This is something that I have wanted to do for the longest time ever, but I've been absolutely terrified. Starting with the armpits because my armpits grow quicker than, um, I don't know, quicker than, than, than Pinocchio's nose. I'm gonna quickly show you my armpits before. This is so weird, why do I do these videos? I feel like I should show you my armpits though beforehand just because, okay, if someone's watching me, this is kind of crazy. I haven't shaved them in 48 hours because you need to kind of like come in with a little bit of hair growth. Let me just wait for these people to pass because I just feel like me lifting my armpits up in front of a camera and people seeing that is just, it's just odd, you know? I mean, like, it's fine if you're watching it because, like, you know what to expect. But these people, like, they they don't know. Okay, quickly. So this is my armpit at the moment. I've always had, like, dark patches. And my armpits have always just grown so quickly. I mean, all my hair grows really quickly apart from on my head. But armpits is just a different story because it's just so annoying to deal with. So anyway, I'm going to go get that done. Absolutely terrified. But I'll share the info with you very, very soon. Camera won't charge. So maybe we'll just take a little drive later and I'll tell you how it went. Pray for me. I'm so scared. Okay, I charged my battery and now I need to go to DM to get some oat milk. So I thought I'd take you guys and uh, tell you about my experience with the laser hair removal. Honestly, it was really not what I expected. Where's my car key? I mean, that would be a good start to, you know, driving. Firstly, let me just backtrack, okay, to growing up as a hairy woman. I am from the Balkans. I am half Bulgarian, half Serbian. We are hairy women. We just are. Not always, but a lot of the time, there is a lot of hair going on. Let me tell you that finding parking took longer than the actual process of the laser hair removal, believe it or not. I literally went in there, obviously was freaked out, completely shook. It just sounds so scary, doesn't it? Like laser hair removal, it just, it sounds like, I don't know, I mean, it's a laser, you know? I go in there not knowing what to expect because I've never done this before. This woman clearly, you know, sees that I don't know what the hell's happening. Doesn't bother to explain or, you know, make me feel comfortable, nothing. Grabs this like machine and she's like, let's do it. I'm like, oh, okay. She starts lasering me and all I can say is it feels like a very, very cold air slash a little needle, you know, the ones that you use for sewing and someone is like just poking you with this needle. That's what it feels like. Uh, yeah, don't think about it, brother. It's my priority and it's uncomfortable, but it is absolutely not as painful as waxing. The pain is absolutely not even comparable to what waxing feels like. Do you want to come up my ass or like what? Do you want to like smell my ass or what? Like it's a 30 zone, you know? Chill out, brother. I hate when cars come up your ass. Are you gonna pass? No, I don't know. People just, people just, I don't get people. And then she's like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, what do you mean? Do I not look okay? Like, what do you mean? And she's like, oh, I'm just checking if it hurts. And I'm like, girl, what? I didn't even know she started. Like, that's how much it didn't hurt. At least not in your armpit area. I don't know. It depends what your pain tolerance is. Like, mine's pretty high. I hate this street. It's such a tight street. And there's always people just walking everywhere. Like, look at these guys. Like, it's just really not the right area to walk, mate. There's a pavement right there. But nah, nah, they choose the street. Of course, why the fuck wouldn't they? It's a free world, isn't it? Or so we thought. So then she does the procedure and in literally, I'm not even joking, I'm not even joking. In like one minute, she's like, you're done. And I was like, huh, sorry? I couldn't believe it. It was literally the fastest thing that I've ever done. I did not expect that at all, at all. I was out of there in five minutes, the whole thing from start to finish. I recommend it to absolutely every single one of you. I mean, let's see what happens. She said it's gonna take about 10 days for the hairs to kind of like start falling off. So I'm not gonna show you my armpit right now, because I genuinely feel like it just looks exactly the same as it did a second ago when I showed it to you at the beginning of this video. Maybe like, I don't know, in 10 days, we'll have a little armpit reveal. She said I can shave it straight away. And then I asked if there was anything else I had to like be careful with. And all she said was just don't put any sprays on it until tomorrow. But apart from that, that's it. There's really not much else that you do. It's that quick and it's that easy. And I feel like I'm gonna do my entire body and then I'm gonna be like, I wish I had done this sooner. I feel like that's how good it's gonna be. I just hope it works. That's pretty much the story of my laser or hair removal sesh. If you're feeling scared about it, then don't. It cost me 15 euros to do my armpit once. So, you know, they do say you need six sessions. I'm new to this. I kind of just went spontaneously. Well, actually that's a lie. I've been thinking about it for forever. So it was not that spontaneous, but going today was quite spontaneous. Uh, whole, whole, 
And if you ask me why I decided to do it, you know, growing up, I've always been a very hairy kid and I kind of learned to deal with this. I don't know, I used to shave my arms a lot as a kid because I was embarrassed about it and all my friends were these gorgeous, blonde, fair women who never grew hair and were always hairless and I always felt so left out, like I was the gorilla of the friend group, you know? Like, I was that one. So if you're the gorilla, I'm so sorry. I feel you, girl, or a boy. But I feel like with guys, it's obviously more acceptable to have hair, which is just so unfair. Like, why, why? Do you know what I mean? Like, why is society said guys can have hair, but girls have to be completely hairless? Anyway, I grew up being so self-conscious about it. My mom got so angry at me whenever I would shave because she was like, stop doing that. It's just gonna make your hair grow thicker and longer and you're gonna be even more scarred. Oh. Got the goods. Got my oat milk. It's all about oat milk, by the way. It's not about almond milk, it's not about soy milk, and it's definitely not about rice milk. Okay, let's go home. Also got some other goods, by the way. Not just oat milk. I'll show you later, maybe. Maybe I'll never show you. I don't know, who knows? We'll see, right? Surprise! Oh, hi, Beep! The worst is like in reverse when it does it because it's like making me feel like I'm gonna hit something, but like I'm really not. So the point of this video is just to say, you know, if you want to remove your hair, then remove your hair. If you don't want to remove your hair, then don't remove your hair. You know, it's your body. Do what you want. You know, hair is natural. And I'm so sick and tired of hearing people say that like women shouldn't be hairy, this or that. It's like, just shut up and let people decide for themselves what they want to do. I'm just sick of judgment. I know it sounds hypocritical because, you know, I could just go and laser it off, but my point is it was completely my choice. I didn't feel forced or whatever. I did it in the end because it's something that I've personally just wanted to do for a very long time. I've liked the idea of not having to constantly shave my armpits. I'm telling you, I will shave my armpits in the morning and then by the afternoon, not even evening, afternoon, they'll be hairy again. It's just annoying. So it's more for my convenience, but you know, at the end of the day, I don't care if like people are hairy or not. It doesn't bother me. Even like my arm hair, I have a really, I have, a, I have hair, hairy arms. Let me show you actually, hang on. Let me stop at this traffic light and I'm gonna show you my hairy little arms. Okay, perfect. Perfect timing. This is gonna look so weird to the car next to me. I have like pretty hairy arms. Maybe to you it doesn't look that hairy, but trust me, to people regularly, my arms are hairy. For a woman. And I've grown up just kind of like getting used to that. Like I get weird looks here and there and I'm so used to it that I don't even care. If I wax, my arms get spots and I'd rather have hairy arms than spotty arms. You know, I'm just saying that's my preference. If you don't like it, then eh. And I've never had issues with it. I mean, maybe growing up, I've probably been judged and I just don't remember because I block that out, okay? I block all those memories out because I just don't want to remember. People are like, oh, do guys mind? I mean, honestly, like, if they do, fuck them. Seriously, like, do you really think that I'm going to go for a guy who has a problem with my hairy arms? Oh, no. I haven't ever been with a guy that's gone like, oh, gross. But yeah, no, guys don't care. Like, I just, some people look at you weirdly, some don't. The reason I'm lasering everything off is not because of the way I feel when people look at me. I mean, you guys know me. You guys know I don't care about these things. I, I really don't care what people think about me. But it's more for myself. And like I said, it's just gonna save me time, effort, and just having to deal with these hairy armpits. You know what I mean? It's a mainly an armpit thing for me. Anyway. Anyway, I'm heading home now and I just wanted to do this little chit chat vlog with you guys. Excuse this road, it's like, it's a pretty bad one. I was trying to figure out like how to save time, not save time, but make my time effective. And I realized why don't I just bring the vlog to the car? That way I'll be vlogging and also doing what I have to do in my life. And it was just like a two in one bonus. I hope you guys like the vlog and oh, shut up. Sorry. I'm going to keep you guys updated for those of you who care to tell you what it's like throughout the months of doing laser hair removal and um, if you should get it too. And honestly, I feel like I'm going to probably be recommending it. Go. <phone rings> Disgusting creature. This man, okay? He did the whole like, Mwah. Disgusting creature. You make me sick. Sorry. I just think men think they can get away with so much sometimes. It's just like, I, it's not cute. I don't want you blowing kisses at me, trying to cut in front of me with your stupid car that you think is so impressive. But trust me when I tell you, it's not impressive, okay? Sorry, I get quite triggered because the male species, sometimes I'm just not about that life. You know what I'm saying? 
Anyway, I'm gonna go now. So I hope you enjoyed my chat about laser hair removal and I will see you in the next vlog. Just so you know, these chitty chatty vlogs are going to become regular vlogs because I kind of am enjoying them. It's like word vomit. I'm sitting here in my little cozy space and I'm just chatting and I look crazy to every single other person. It's not America. These streets are not wide. Everyone can see everything, so. I'll probably be getting some more kisses from some weird men, but you know, I'll learn to deal with that. I'll catch y'all later. Bye.